my weapon of choice. This is my custom built Jesse James Nomad 2 to 556. Leaving the gun range and the old common starter is absolutely smoked. And when I say smoked, it was literally smoking. This is the first one in line for the drift competition tonight. trap teeth turbos and turbines and today we are at sarasota trap skeet and clay is going to shoot some sporting clays see how we can do this is another one of my passions i love to shoot so we're out here on a beautiful morning here in florida this is my weapon of choice it's a browning satori cxt i've had it custom fitted for my face so they grind it down the stock put a little extra length on the back and i also put a wider grip on it that's my gun extended chokes 32 inch barrel this is how this works here. So you come in, you put your card up, which has all your all your clays on it. And on this particular station, we're gonna be doing four report pairs. One's gonna be straight outgoing from there out. Another one's gonna be a teal. So a teal pops straight up. You pop it at the top, hopefully powder it. So a report pair means that you're gonna, I'm gonna say pull. He's gonna hit the button, the straight outgoing. I'm gonna shoot as soon as my first shot goes off, then they hit the second button to pull the, the second clay. So I've never seen these clays go. I'm just gonna rip them right off the hit. Ready? Pull! Woo! Move along. This is our fourth station. It's a little bit different than the last one because it's a true pair. A true pair is different than a report pair. A true pair, they both fire at the same time. So you're gonna have two clays flying at the same time. Oh! You know what that was? 25 straight. Well, ended up with a 46 out of 50. Not bad for not coming out for a while, but check this place out, guys. It's pretty awesome. They got a trap, they got a skeet, they have five stand, and they got about 40 stations of sporting clays. It's like one of my favorite spots to come out here and just get away and shoot for a bit. And there's no cell service, which is even better in my opinion. This is my weapon of choice. This is my custom built Jesse James Nomad 2. It's a 5.56. Five, I put a Vortex scope on it. And today we're going to get it. Uh, Today we're going to side it because I've only shot it without sights on it, but I want to get it accurate to about 25 feet. No sir, attitude to 5.5. Sir, five. back behind the red line. Sir, yeah. We are hot right now. Did you get that? <laughs> Not the tightest patterns at 25 yards. This one's mine. That was not you. This was you. <laughs> I was aiming for these small ones. I did, I was, when I was doing this grouping, I was aiming for this cross right here. So maybe one more click up and to the left and then it'll be dialed, but that was fun. Well, we were leaving the gun range and the old common starter is absolutely smoked. And when I say smoked, it was literally smoking. This thing's been on its last limb for a while now. And, uh, you know, Advanced Auto Parts down the road's got another one. So we pulled this thing out because otherwise they're going to charge us a core charge. And so we're going to Uber over there and go get a new starter, come back, put it in, and head up to the Ready? I'd sell or something. All right, she was huffing white smoke pretty bad. So let's see, put her on the starter test, see what she's got. <laughs> Skirt, nothing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude absolutely fried all right so they got a brand new starter here so we're gonna go back throw it back in the parking lot and then head up to the freedom factory for drift night so what a day we every time i'm with ryan we always get into a weird adventure like this every time okay it's the moment of truth will it start This thing is a ripper. That old starter sucks. Nice. Look at that. Looking good down there. Doing the old H-brake trick for the L-Kitty. 
Skirt. All right, so the trans is slipping pretty bad. I'm gonna show you guys what it's doing here. in line for the drift competition tonight check this out oh i got my uh splitter protectors back on i'm glad i did that look at all these cars lined up i'm literally the first one to go and uh the car is so screwed up it's my first time drifting out here other than last night and uh just gonna go for it i mean i'll probably spin out i probably won't do that great but i'm out here to have fun and rip the car I am having a trouble uh, bleeding the intercooler line because it's a total pain in the butt on this car and I blew the intercooler line last night so it leaked all the water. But we're just out here to have fun and send it. I already have a clutch and a shifter on the way to smoothen things out for drifting and burnouts, but let's do this. The car went into full-blown limp mode on that hit. It was ended up being pretty decent. They did the figure eight well, but I uh, cleared the codes and we're gonna try and send it again. I'm really fighting this intercooler. It's getting air in the intercooler system. And what happens is the pump senses the air and just shuts it off. And so then it can't just get that air bubble out. So I'm fighting this. It's a known issue with these Hellcats is trying to get the air out of the system because last night when I was ripping on the track, pop one of the lines, the intercooler system completely drained all the water. So I'm just trying to get it back up and going again because it's throwing the computer for, for a heck of a fit. So other than that, you know, just trying to get all the bugs worked out. I was back on the track. I was going to make another hit, but the coolant temp and the intercooler temp waters were super high. I'm talking like 230 for the uh, coolant and you can literally see it boiling in here. Look at that. And then the intercooler is just sitting at like 170. It should be like 110. So Zach from Shop Hellcat is actually on his way up here. Incredible dude. It's gonna help me get this thing dialed. I'm a little bummed that I couldn't rip it tonight, but this is how this stuff goes. If we wanna build a car that's gonna be reliable, I know we're gonna run into issues. So this is nothing against them. This is completely the car. I mean, this thing's got 170,000 miles on it. I mean, what more can you ask for? It's putting out some great power and we have a little bit of issues, but it's nothing that we can't get figured out. All right, tell me these light up splitter protectors aren't hilarious. Those things are so bright. This one, half the LEDs aren't even working. That is awesome. I love it. 
Another taxi garage or car over here. That thing's pretty sick. Are you drifting this thing tonight? Dude, what do you think I'm doing? <laughs> I love it. This thing's huge. What a legend. Zach from Shop Hellcat drove all the way here from Fort Myers to help me get this intercooler situation. And we're looking a lot cooler. We were at like 170, which is not ideal. No. So we got it bled. We got it bled from the bottom. We got it bled from the blower. So hopefully we get good. And it's even dropping down, so we're good. Oh, we're good. Let's get out there. All right, let's go. You got your helmet? Well, we just went up to the line to do another rip, get some data. And Done. she's overheating just sitting in line so zach and them they even told me they're like hey dude we've got the front of this car torn apart we should do the water pump and i was like no nah, well, it'll be fine and nope definitely a water pump yep. but uh hey you know i told him i was like rome wasn't built overnight and we'll get this car dialed we'll just uh wait for that stuff for the trans get a new water pump in it please and cars please and cars i'm yep. hyped. i'm hyped. middle of november all right all right